do highly encourage moms that are on methadone to breastfeed their babies. Uh, these babies have been exposed to methadone um, throughout their pregnancy, so when they deliver, a lot of these babies can experience withdrawal symptoms, you know, immediately or, you know, hours later or sometimes days later. And so we do want to have moms understand how to comfort their babies and things that they can do to help their babies as they go through the withdrawal symptoms. And breastfeeding is one of the ways that we want them to, to understand that this does help their baby uh, through their symptoms. A lot of healthcare people still don't understand that there's a lot of research out there being done on methadone and that it is safe now for moms to breastfeed. Um, but we do discuss with them, you know, if they're hepatitis C positive, um, that they still can uh, breastfeed their babies. We go over. Um, pumping with them if they have cracked or bleeding nipples that they can dump that milk until um, there's no longer any signs of infection or any breakdown and then it's safe to go on feeding their babies. We can if there's a mom is telling us that they are using drugs, um, we can do testing on the breast milk. We can also assist mom, you know, we can help her through a pumping process and dumping her milk until she has a clean urine toxins that will be able to let us provide that milk for her baby. We call it kangaroo care just because it's like putting your baby right to your skin the baby only has a diaper on, and you take everything off that's it between you and the baby and give you some time just to have that baby and enjoy the touch and the um, rest that you both can reach when you're there quiet that is just not achievable in any other way. So I tell moms that I want to give them a bag of tricks that they can use. None of the tricks will work all the time, but hopefully when one doesn't, then something else will. So included in that bag of tricks is swaddling. He loves to like be swaddled up like this. I'm going to have him pacify it. Where is it? Uh, here it is, look. Okay, and then I place him right here down the middle and I just grab his little arm and I place it right here down his side. I grab this end and then I turn him over a little bit Then I tuck him down. And then you like bend it, their feet a little bit, you grab the bottom of it, you put it right here on the side, tuck it in a little bit as well. Grab this arm and then you, you put it in right there, you grab the bottom part and then you just fold it around like that and then you just lay them down. When they're really little, you can just kind of gather their arms and their legs up together and hold your hand there on the front. And as you move them, if you'll move them in that position, they're less likely to get really upset. With my son, I want to hug him, I want to kiss him, I want to cuddle with him, and at times he doesn't like that. No matter what I try to do, he wouldn't calm down until I would swaddle him up and lay him aside, give him his pacifier. Once he was out of my arms, you know, in his swing, he would calm down. These babies are not able to habituate. 
to stimuli. So if something bothers them, it just bothers them more and more instead of tuning it out. So somehow we have to help those nerves to kind of relax and not be quite so hypersensitive. So what I want is for the mother to be able to come to the hospital and already know that she has lots of things to offer and special things that the rest of us can't offer, even as therapists and nurses and physicians. Mm -hmm.